Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have fun. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Get there. You just want to be a big boy and walk, huh? He wants to steal the show. Okay. You just want to see how my life. You can stand right there on my legs if you want. You want to hold that? So the okay. Folks can hear All right, everybody. How are you this morning? Good. Good. Hi, it's good to see you. And Maddie, it's good to see you. And Jane, you too. You too. Nice and comfortable now. All right. So I have something today. In this pocket, I have. It's mine. What is this? You dropped something. One dollar. One dollar. Okay, and then in this pocket over here, we hold up for me. I get into my other pocket. I have this. What's that? One penny. One penny. Which is bigger, this dollar or this penny? The dollar. The dollar. So, you know, every day, every Sunday at church, they pass around the offering plate and everybody puts some money in there. Do you think that God would prefer if we put this dollar in there or this pen? The dollar? You think the dollar? What do you think, Brendan? Um, he wouldn't mind because anything helps. He wouldn't mind because anything helps. That's a good answer. Well, in our Bible story today, Jesus was at the temple and he was watching all the people put their money into the offering plate. And there were lots of rich people and they were coming by and they were putting in lots of dollars. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not offended. It's fine. And there are lots of rich people, and they were putting, they were all putting in their big dollars. They all putting in their dollars. But then there was one lady that came by, and she put in just two little copper coins. That's it. And the disciples saw her, and they, and Jesus said. Jesus said something interesting to them. He said, all those rich people who gave, they gave out of what they have. So if I have $2 and I give you one of them, I still have some for myself, right? But if all I have is these two pennies and I give all of them to the church, what do I have left? I don't have anything left, right? That's okay. <laughs> I have more. <laughs> I can't prepare. I have more. So, the rich people were putting in money from what they had. But this lady who just put in her, her two coins. Now we don't have any <laughs> So, they gave out of what they had, and they still had a lot left over. So they gave a little bit of what they had, but they still had a lot left over. But the lady who just gave her two little coins, that was all she had. And Jesus said that that gift was a better gift, even though it was less money. Thank you. Even though it was less money, it had come from her heart, and she had given all that she could, instead of all those rich people who just gave a tiny bit of all the money that they had. So, the moral of our story today is that God doesn't care how much we give. He cares about how we give it. He wants us to give with a happy heart, and he wants us to give to help others. And it doesn't matter how much we have, even if we just have one penny. Even if we just have one penny. So you get a penny, and you get a penny, and this is to remind you about our Bible story today, that it doesn't matter how much we have, that if we give joyfully of what we have, that makes God really happy. So we don't have to be rich to help people and to give. We can give whatever we have, and that will make God really, really happy. So can we all do that? Can we all do that today? Can we all give? Even if it's just a little, even if we don't have a lot, we can all give a little bit. And like you said, Brian, it all helps. It all helps our church to show, to take care of people and show how we love others. So let's 
pray. We'll let God remind us about our pennies. Okay. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for everything you give us. Help us to give, no matter how much we have, with a joyful heart. Because when we give to you, great things happen. Amen. Okay.